Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Cursed Manuscript Holly Arnold arrived on the Isle of Wight under the heavy grey skies of early autumn. The sea churned in the distance, its waves crashing violently against the cliffs. She had left the bustling noise of London to escape, seeking refuge in this quiet corner of England to finish her novel a mystery she had been working on for over a year. However, the peace she hoped for had not materialized. Writer's block had hit her harder than ever, her creative wall running dry. The cottage she rented was nestled on a secluded part of the island, its stone walls worn by centuries of salt and wind. Inside, it smelled faintly of damp and old wood, and the narrow windows lit in only slivers of the pale afternoon light. Holly hoped the isolation would help, that maybe the quiet would allow her thoughts to flow once again. But after a week of staring at blank pages, her desperation grew. It was on the eighth day that she found the manuscript. She had been exploring the cottage attic, hoping the change of scenery might inspire her. Among the dusty trunks and discarded furniture, an old wooden chest caught her eye. Its surface was carved with strange symbols ones Holly didn't recognize. When she opened it, there was little inside, a few moth-eaten blankets and, at the bottom, a leather-bound manuscript that looked centuries old. Holly pulled it out carefully, the aged leather crackling beneath her fingers. The title on the cover was faded, the ink barely legible, The Book of Shadows. There was no author's name, no date, nothing to indicate its origins. Her heart quickened with excitement. As an author, she had a deep appreciation for old books, and this one radiated mystery. She carried it downstairs, lighting a fire in the hearth as the wind howled outside. Curling up on the worn sofa, she opened the manuscript and began to read. The first few pages were written in a language she didn't recognize something ancient, perhaps Latin, or a more obscure dialect. As she turned the pages, she realized the writing shifted, becoming English, but written in a hand that was delicate and archaic. To the one who finds these words, it began, Know that this is not a gift, but a curse. The shadows of the mind are not meant to be drawn into the light, for they take form and substance in ways beyond human control. Holly's pulse quickened. There was something hypnotic about the writing, a rhythm that pulled her in. Each sentence seemed to seep into her mind, the words lingering in her thoughts long after her eyes had passed over them. She couldn't stop reading. The deeper she delved, the more the manuscript seemed to speak directly to her fears, her insecurities, her deepest, darkest thoughts. It wasn't until late that night, after hours of reading, that the scratching began. At first, she thought it was the wind rattling the windows. But the sound persisted, a slow, deliberate scratching, like nails on wood. It seemed to come from the walls. Holly set the manuscript aside, her heart pounding. She listened, holding her breath. The scratching grew louder, moving through the house, circling her, growing closer. She stood, her legs unsteady, and walked to the nearest wall. Her fingers brushed against the rough plaster. The sound stopped. Silence filled the room. Holly exhaled, laughing nervously. She was tired, that was all. The manuscript had unnerved her, stirred up old fears. She returned to the sofa, but the moment she touched the manuscript again, the scratching resumed. Louder this time. Closer. She bolted up, the manuscript falling from her lap as the wall seemed to vibrate with the noise. The room was growing colder, the fire in the hearth shrinking to embers. Holly's breath came out in white puffs. The scratching turned to a low, guttural growl. She backed away from the sofa, her eyes darting around the dimly lit room. Shadows flickered on the walls, long and spindly, and for the briefest moment she thought she saw them move stretching, reaching for her. Holly blinked, shaking her head. It had to be a trick of the light. But then she heard it a whisper. Faint, almost imperceptible, but unmistakably coming from the manuscript on the floor. She stared at the book, her skin crawling. Slowly, she reached down, her hand trembling, and picked it up. The moment her fingers touched the leather cover, the whisper grew louder, more distinct. Right, the word echoed in her mind, a command she couldn't resist. Her hand moved of its own accord, reaching for her notebook and pen. She sat at the small wooden desk by the window, her eyes wide and unfocused as the whisper repeated itself, louder, more insistent. Right, without thinking, she began to scribble. 
At first, the words made no sense, a jumble of half-formed thoughts, images from her nightmares, memories she had long buried. But as her pen scratched across the paper, the words began to take shape, forming sentences that seemed to come from somewhere deep within her. The story that emerged was unlike anything she had ever written. Dark, twisted, filled with horrors that made her stomach churn. As she wrote, the room grew darker, the shadows on the walls thickening, pulsing in time with her heartbeat. Suddenly, the scratching returned, louder than ever. This time, it was coming from beneath the floorboards. Holly froze, her pen hovering above the page. The scratching intensified, the sound of wood splintering, nails clawing at the floor beneath her feet. She jumped up, backing away from the desk as the floorboards began to creak and buckle. Something was beneath them, something trying to get out. The manuscript lay open on the desk, its pages fluttering as though caught in a gust of wind, though the room was deathly still. Holly watched in horror as the ink on the pages began to bleed, the words she had written twisting and distorting, taking on a life of their own. The floorboards cracked, and a hand skeletal, covered in rotting flesh, burst through the wood. Holly screamed, stumbling back as the hand clawed at the air, pulling itself up from the darkness beneath the house. More hands followed, skeletal figures dragging themselves out of the floor, their hollow eyes fixed on her. She ran to the door, but it slammed shut before she could reach it. The shadows on the walls stretched and right, converging on her, wrapping around her like cold tendrils. Holly thrashed, trying to free herself, but the more she struggled, the tighter they became. The skeletal figures closed in, their bony fingers reaching for her, their mouths open in silent screams. Desperation flooded her. She glanced at the manuscript on the desk, its pages still fluttering. The whispers had returned, louder now, more urgent. Finish it. With trembling hands, Holly grabbed her pen and returned to the desk, her body shaking as she scribbled furiously. The shadows recoiled slightly, the skeletal figures pausing as if waiting for something. Her hand moved faster, the words pouring out of her like a torrent. She wrote of the horrors surrounding her, of the skeletal figures, of the shadows. But as she did, the story turned darker, the events spiraling out of her control. The creatures grew more menacing, the shadows deeper. She was no longer writing a story, she was writing her reality. As the final words left her pen, the manuscript snapped shut with a deafening thud. The room fell silent. Holly looked up, her breath coming in ragged gasps. The shadows were gone. The skeletal figures had vanished. The floor was intact, as though nothing had happened. For a moment, she thought it was over. But then, from the darkness behind her, came a single, whispered word. Begin, and with that, the manuscript opened itself once again. Holly's breath hitched as the manuscript fluttered open, its pages turning as though caught in an invisible wind. The fire in the hearth had completely gone out now, leaving the room in a suffocating darkness. Only the faint glow from the open pages offered any light, casting eerie, dancing shadows across the walls. It began, the whisper repeated, soft but insistent. Holly stood frozen, her mind a chaotic swirl of terror and confusion. She had finished the story. The horrors had vanished, hadn't they? She glanced nervously at the floor, half expecting the skeletal hands to burst through the boards again. But the floor remained solid, untouched, and the air was still. And yet the whisper persisted. Again, her fingers trembled as they hovered over the manuscript, the compulsion to obey creeping back into her like icy tendrils. She had never been one to believe in the supernatural. Rational explanations always existed for strange occurrences. But this, this was beyond reason. The manuscript seemed to pulse, almost breathing beneath her fingertips, waiting for her to continue. It was alive. And it wanted more. No, she whispered to herself, pulling her hand back. I'm done. I won't write any more. The manuscript didn't care. The floor beneath her shuddered, a low rumble vibrating through the cottage. The walls creaked ominously, the air thickening with a strange pressure that made her ears pop. Holly stumbled back, her heart hammering in her chest. The air itself seemed to be shifting, distorting, as though reality was being rewritten around her. She knew what was coming. The house was demanding a new story, and if she didn't comply, it would create its own. Suddenly, a loud bang echoed from upstairs. 
The attic. Holly's gaze shot toward the ceiling. It wasn't the wind this time. Something was moving up there, scraping and dragging across the floorboards. A cold sweat broke out across her skin as she backed toward the door, but her escape was blocked. The door slammed shut with a force that rattled the windows, locking her in. The noise above grew louder, more frantic. Whatever it was, it was coming down. Holly looked back at the manuscript, the pages now completely still, open to a blank section, as if inviting her to fill it. She could feel the pressure mounting, the unseen force pushing her toward the desk, urging her to write to keep the horrors contained on paper before they could manifest in the real world. Her instincts screamed at her to run, to find a way out. But she knew, deep down, that running wouldn't save her. This wasn't just a haunted house or a bad dream. The manuscript had drawn her in, wrapped her life in its dark tendrils, and now she was trapped within its cursed pages. There is only one way to escape. Fine, she whispered. I'll write, but this time, I'll end it for good. She sat down at the desk. Her heart pounded in her chest as the sounds from the attic intensified to footsteps now heavy and deliberate, descending the stairs with a slow, menacing cadence. She forced herself to focus on the page, blocking out the noise, the fear, the icy breath she could feel creeping down her neck. The words flowed from her pen in a fevered rush. The house was quiet again. The intruding presence had vanished, driven away by the light of dawn. The manuscript had closed itself for the final time, its curse broken, never to be opened again. Her hand shook as she wrote, but she pushed on, willing the words to become truth. Behind her, the footsteps grew closer, now just outside the door to the study. She didn't dare look back. The shadows retreated, slithering back into the darkness where they belonged. The cursed beings clawing their way from beneath the floorboards to salt into dust, banished to the abyss forever. A loud thud sounded against the door, making her jump. Something was outside, pounding to get in. She wrote faster, her breathing shallow, as the door rattled violently. Holly Arnold was free. She had survived. The manuscript would never claim another victim. The curse was broken. The door burst open, the force sending a gust of cold air through the room. Holly's hand flew across the page, desperate to finish the story before whatever lurked behind her could reach her. The story was over. It was finished. She scrawled the last word, and just as she did, the room fell silent. For a moment, Holly sat frozen, the pen slipping from her grasp. Her heart hammered in her chest, the adrenaline making her limbs tremble uncontrollably. She didn't dare move, didn't dare turn around. The manuscript sat before her, its pages no longer moving, the eerie glow fading from its surface. It was done. Slowly, cautiously, Holly stood from the desk. The air in the room felt lighter, the oppressive darkness that had pressed down on her vanishing like a bad dream at dawn. The fire in the hearth flickered back to life, casting warm, golden light across the room. She turned toward the door, expecting to see some unspeakable horror lurking there. But the doorway was empty. The cottage was quiet. Holly exhaled, the tension draining from her body all at once. It was over. She had broken the curse. The manuscript had lost its power. She walked toward the door, every step cautious, half expecting the shadows to lunge at her one last time. But nothing came. She reached the doorway, her hand resting on the frame as she glanced back at the manuscript one last time. It sat on the desk, harmless now. Just an old, forgotten book. With a sigh of relief, Holly turned and stepped out into the hallway. The cold voice whispered in her ear once more. At the begin. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.